AM Sports Report brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Get out there and see Dana. It's not the greatest weather, but the pro shop's open, and you can go check it out. If there, if there is a break in the weather, hit the, hit the links. It's gorgeous out there. Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Meet me at the peak. LeGrand High School Boys Wrestling took second at the conference, Special District 4 Conference Tournament. Um, they were an 120 points behind Crook County, which is a lot of points at a wrestling tournament. Um, they did qualify 12 for state, which is good news. I said I predicted we needed 16 to win a state championship, so it's going to be a really long, tough haul for LeGrand. They're going to have to have some guys show up that you know maybe haven't in the past to ha even have a chance because I don't even think Crook County's the best team in the state. I think Sweet Home's a little bit better than them. Um, it's going to be tough. They they had six district champions for LeGrand. I won't name them all. I've already named them all on social media. You can go look if you want to see who they are. LHS Girls Wrestling Districts are this weekend in Scappoose. Let's go. Let's go, Lady Tigers. Uh, they have a chance at winning a state championship. It's going to be tough, um, but they, they do have a legit shot. They have a lot of really good wrestlers on that girls team. It's exciting. LHS Girls Basketball won the GOL. And then they played this Saturday. I don't have a time, but it's a home game. And I'm not sure on the start time of it because there's nothing on the website yet. The boys basketball team won a thriller versus Ontario on Tuesday night. I won't say they played good. They played okay. Um, they were up by 16 points against Ontario. They gave up that lead. And then with like... Three seconds left, hit a game-winning buzzer beater. Um, they qualified for a play-in game for the state tournament. Let me get some pictures, Gabe. They qualified for a play-in game for the state tournament. They play Pendleton tonight at 6.30 in the second round of the GOL tournament. If they win tonight, they get a, they get a state playoff game, which is insane to me. We, this team is 6-17 and 17 overall and 1-5 and five in league. And if they win tonight in Pendleton... They get a state tournament game. They already qualified for a play-in game, so they have one more game at least after this. But I, I, I am a Legrand lover, but I'm not a fan of going one and five in the league and making the playoffs. I don't understand it. I don't. The basketball, the whole basketball thing is weird to me. I don't. I'll never understand that. LHS swimming got second at districts in both boys and girls swimming. For a full list of state qualifiers, go to our Facebook page and check it out. EOU Athletics has a busy weekend at home this weekend. They're hosting a last chance invite for indoor track and field on Friday and Saturday. And then they also have the CCC uh, tournament for men's wrestling, which is over 60 wrestlers from 12 different universities and the toughest conference in the whole country. I mean, the CCC has six teams ranked nationally. And you're, you, if you want to watch good wrestling, go to that tournament this weekend. It, it is, it's uh, tomorrow and Saturday. The finals are at 5 on Saturday. So get up there and support the Mountie wrestling team. They're good. They're, they're exciting. I think they're right around 19th or 20th in the country right now. And they, they have a guy that's ranked number one and a couple of guys in the top 10. And you should see some really good wrestling this weekend. Both men's and women's hoops for EOU take the Washington trip this weekend. They'll play Northwest on Friday night, and then the Gooey Ducks of Evergreen State on Saturday night. Um, the, the, the games are super important for the men's team. They're sitting at sixth right now. And the, the goal for Coach Kemp is to get into that number five spot so we can get Corbin in the first round of the tournament. Um, and he basically, you got to win out from here for them. They're going to make the CCC tournament. It's just a matter of where they end up placing for, for now. The women's lacrosse team heads to Spokane to take on Whitworth for their first game of the year. That'll be at noon on Sunday. EOU softball has a double dip in Ellensburg versus Central Washington. Those games are at start, start at noon and 2 on Sunday. And then finally, EOU baseball goes to Monmouth to take on the Wolves in LeGrand's own Devin Bell. Devin Bell pitches for uh, um, Western Oregon University, and we'll probably see him on the bump sometime this weekend. That Those games start at 11 o'clock on Sunday. I sat down with uh, EOU baseball's Alex Farnsworth and Joey Friedas yesterday on the sports show. Here's a little bit of that. For, for you personally, uh, 
what what's your goals this year like what do you want to accomplish um i mean i just want to win we want to go out there we want to compete every weekend um, it's it's been tough the last couple of years and as everyone knows oh, I yeah. Know. yeah and so it's like we just want to go out there and compete we want to go out there and um, every weekend have a chance to win and so it's just it's good to to see the change this year where we can go out and every weekend we know we're just as good if not better than the team across the field and go out there and just compete every pitch I'm a senior in high school. I'm trying to find somewhere to play baseball. Coach Tread says, Joey, uh, get Dodsey to come play baseball at EOU. What are you going to tell me? Uh, well, I'd be honest with them. I'd let them know that uh, like the program's gone through its struggles, but it's definitely been able to make its strokes back. And if you just look at this season alone, like you said, like we've already beat uh, our winning record from last year. Right. And uh, just – <clears throat> the group of guys that we have here, they, they want the best for you, whether that be on the coaching staff or just the team itself on the on the roster. Um, they'll push you to be better. Like that's what that's what we do, and we take pride in. Um, we we want the best for <clears throat> every single person. Like yeah, we we might not have the best facilities, but we make it work. And uh, like Coach Hara, what he's been able to do on the offensive side this this year, uh, he's our new assistant coach. Yeah, and, the, um, the hitting coach. Yeah, he's. He loves the game of baseball, and same with Tread. Uh, those two guys, they'll, they'll really just break down. Tread on the pitching side, they'll break down what you need to work on. Like, a lot of guys have made huge jumps on the pitching side since the fall when they got here, and the same with the hitting. That's awesome. Um, it's just they really want to see what you do well, and they put you in uh, the best situation that you have the best possibility of succeeding in. And... Uh, I mean, they do that just by all the data they take, by all, like, the rap soto and the hit tracks, and uh, they take their time. They're diligent about what they do, and, uh, yeah, if you want to become a Mountaineer, um, it's a great place, and the program's obviously, like, it, it's going in the right direction, and I, love it. I think it'd uh, be cool to start that new culture, especially right now. Like, we're turning the new page, and... We don't even want to think about the last year or the two years prior to that. Like, this, yeah. is, this is a new EOU baseball, and we want to keep it that way. Well, in baseball, you have to have short-term memory. Exactly. You know that. I am Sports Report brought to you by Buffalo Peak out in Union. Meet me at the peak.